Hey, what's good, y'all? Welcome back to another reaction video with your boy, Money Commando. Today, we got why rappers are scared of Kendrick Lamar. Let's get into it. Terrifying to his fellow rappers. Not just in the wake of his recent activity, but long before he was ever as battle-tested as he is now. At the minute, hip-hop is basking in the landscape where he destroyed Drake so savagely that his name is now being used as an acronym to warn others. So, I'm rap against Kendrick ever. Ever. Yeah. You didn't sit home with the fucking Blackberry or the bum composition book and write acronyms for your own fucking name. But while Drake's defeat at KDOT's hands has- Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, Drake did get smoked. When I figure out them allegations about Molly Bobby Brown, I said no more Drake. Proven exactly why so few have no gone at Drake. Kendrick over the years, what is it that makes his reputation so fierce in the first place? Well, there's actually a variety of factors that made it clear to the whole world that Kendrick wasn't a man to trifle with. My name is Luesta, and this is why rappers are scared of Kendrick Lamar. There's a lot of angles to tackle why Kendrick has such a reputation for being one of the MCs that you just don't attempt to rhyme against. But one of the main reasons is that the reverence that the culture has for him trickles down to the top of the industry. Co-signed by Dr. Dre and passed the torch to the West Coast by Snoop Dogg, The Game, Corrupt, and every other OG you can think of. I'm gonna say this and I'm gonna think this. Even the legendary Eminem once thought that his pen game couldn't possibly live up to the hype. The thing with Eminem was crazy to me. He kicks everybody out the studio. I, just, wow. I took it as him kicking everybody out to see if that's really you writing them raps. Oh. That you're writing. Oh. <laughs> you okay, get what I'm saying? Go, with Eminem Bro, known to know, be upset. I didn't know Eminem was like a savage like that. You know what I'm saying? I know people were scared of this man. That at rappers who use ghostwriters, that's a pretty fair assumption. But as Ed Sheeran remembered, he soon found out exactly why k -Dot was given so many props by people that he respected. Eminem, he'd heard that Kendrick Lamar was the best rapper Crazy. and he invited him to the studio to get, get him on a song and he arrived and Kendrick came with all his mates and uh, Eminem said, um, I just want you in the studio, just you on your own. Wow. And then my engineer is going to come in and then record you doing it, but your mates aren't allowed in. And then Kendrick did it, wrote a sick verse, and then all everyone came in to listen to it. And Eminem said he did it to test Kendrick because he Crazy, thought he had a ghostwriter, and he then realized that he didn't, and then claimed that he was the best. Ever since the two of them collab, that's how crazy Kendrick is on this junk, bro. That's how sick he is, bro. Braided on Love Game off the Marshall Mathers LP2, Eminem has known that Lamar is among the elites in the game. And in a rare show of vulnerability from Shady, he suggested that he would think twice about coming for Kendrick. It's the same thing if I get on a, getting on a track with Kendrick. I can never tell what the fuck he's gonna do. Right. Because he is such a chameleon of styles and he can fucking do any, pretty much anything, right? right. And, he's, wow. and he's so proficient at it, he's so good at it. And you don't know what you're gonna get. That to me is like a top tier lyricist because it's like you don't. You Eminem looks scared, bro. Why does he look so scared of Kendrick Lamar? That's how. That's how crazy his aura is, bro. You can get your ass kicked any day. Aura Besides is, overshadowing bro. rappers on features, K Dot never had to square off with other MCs in the same way that Shady had to in his career. But he always insisted that he had it in him to tear a rapper to shreds, oh, even insane, after he bro. became a mainstream star. His entire Section 80 campaign basically revolved around the claim that he would kill your favorite rapper. Then, wow. on Damn's Element, he issued a warning that all they had to do was say his name and they'll see Candyman. Then, the fuck? I ain't going on Kendrick. What you mean you see candy man? After winning a Pulitzer Prize, he let his colleagues know what time it was on Rich Spirit, where he told them to stop playing with him before he turns you into a song. Stop playing. Wait, no way, nope, nope. Not gonna uh, get me messed up. In the white flag, we know that wasn't an idle threat as over these past few weeks, he's left massive footprints Crazy. on their legacies. As they struggle to pick themselves back up, you can imagine that no one will be stepping to Dot anytime soon. But long before everything that followed Kendrick's declaration of fuck the big three, it's just big me Ooh. went down, rappers already showed a real reluctance to cross him. In fact, when they let their ego get in the way and spoke out against him, they usually decided to pay homage instead. Because although he had never really been in a battle until Drake thought he could take him on. He already yeah. proved how much his presence. And he just he completely ah. demolished Drake. I feel like he ended that man's career low key, bro. This man Kendrick ended Drake's career, bro. 
your career can do with Big Sean. In many ways, Big Sean is pretty much the reason why Kendrick is going at Drake in the first place. By now, we all know about KDOT's infamous verse on Control, where he hijacked Big Sean's track to let the whole industry know that even though he had love for them, he was trying to murder them and take their fans. At the same time, Big Sean insisted that he didn't even get bodied on the track, even though he opted to leave it off his Hall of Fame album yeah. that it was originally intended to be on. But he never really managed to escape its shadow. I put that work in. Like, you're not gonna disrespect me. I, I hop on any track with anybody and I will not only stand my own, you're gonna know that it's my verse and you're gonna know I'm. That's I'm, what I like. I'm okay, it. Except for control. Kendrick Washington, you on control. No, he not stopped. this guy, man. Not Charlemagne. I do not like this guy. Y'all know why I don't like Charlemagne, bro. Get his ass off my screen, bro. Uh, come on now. <laughs> come on. And how long, how long ago is that? What year is this? That you right. You got you okay, right. Everybody okay. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. And I still don't feel like I got washed anyway. Nigga. Nah, you got washed on control. Whatever. Your opinion. <laughs> See, that's what I'm saying. You can't, you can't focus on people's opinions. You right. know why? Because that's going to throw you off. Although he never fully accepted that there was beef, Big Sean right. did attempt to throw subliminal shots at Dot from time to time. For example, on songs like Me, Myself, and I and No More Interviews, people felt like the Detroit rapper was aiming right. at Kendrick's rapping style. But as is often the case, Kendrick never even acknowledged that anything was going down. Then, on the hard part 4, he let the world know that he heard what was being said and that if he kept pushing, Big Sean would get what he thought he wanted. No, no, no. Dang, bro, it's crazy I can't play this music because I'm not trying to get copied. How does he get away with this? Who is to... If you ever see my video, comment how you dodge these copyrights, bro. That's so much copyright in your videos, and you get away with it every time, bro. Track dedicated to him, Big Sean was informed money, in no uncertain terms that Kendrick would come at his neck whenever he wanted to. Meanwhile, the control situation left such a permanent imprint on Big Sean's career that you can almost divide it between the time before that verse and everything that happened after. Right. And in a move that has really set the tone for how people come out of the other side of squabbling with Kendrick, Big Sean speaks of him with nothing but admiration now and basically acts as if there was never a problem in the first place. Right. The whole... Ken, Big, Big Sean Kendrick beef was going on. It was something I wish I would have spoke up about because there was nothing. So then I remember going online and seeing like, oh, is he talking about Kendrick? Because I'm talking about people who rap fast. I wasn't beefing with nobody. Insisting that he didn't want any problems, Big Sean still had to acknowledge that the whole thing has haunted him for years. Wow. And then every verse I do, people would be like, oh, is this a response? Is this a response? And I'm like. <laughs> It's like, damn, I can't even show no aggression. People think it's a damn response. Crazy, it got to bro. a point where somehow... Yeah, hang on, wait. It was just... Hey, Sean, don't tell me you're talking to Joe Bunnin about your problems, bro. Y'all boys know how I get about this bald-ass motherfucker. This bald-head, Eggman-head-ass nigga. I don't like Joe Budden, bro. A weird tension between... He hates on everybody, bro. I mean, him, even though it was already serious, said bro. it wasn't no beef because... People made it that way, right? Mm. Although Big Sean probably got the raw end of the deal out of control, there is another man on the track who goes by the name of Jay Electronica. And oh, although he was regarded as one of the world's greatest MCs at the time, he didn't escape unscathed either. Crazy. Basically, Jay Elect didn't appreciate the fact that people were saying Kendrick beat him on the track. In fact, he said that Dot was envious of him. Kendrick will body you. Look, you couldn't pay Kendrick a million dollars. Kendrick wouldn't tell you. Kendrick could tell you himself he couldn't body me. Crazy. Kendrick, look. Kendrick is my son. Hang on, hang on. Wait, let me say one thing before I get before we get too deep. Who are you? Who are you? Like, who is this nigga? Who is this guy? Who is this guy? Kendrick is my baby. Kendrick, what she say guy, he could man? be? Followed up with his verse on the curse of Mayweather. Who are you? He got 11 Grammy nominations. Great, and I'm not man. equal. Man, fuck these white people. Which refers to the amount of Grammys Kendrick won at the time. He followed it up with my grandmother died at 82 scrubbing floors and rappers still running around begging for awards. Jay Lake looked like he was practically begging for problems. Then from out of nowhere, he seemed to have a change of heart and was giving Dot his flowers all of a sudden. Lastly, peace to K Dot and TDE because regardless to whom or what were brothers fighting the same energy forgive my past energy Crazy. although it's unclear what made him switch up like that jay like many rappers were going to discuss was another man who folded on dot Wait. when he was put to the test and then he's beefing with kendrick with teeth looking like that no buddy no 
No, buddy, no. For the most part, hip hop's response to Kendrick's no. name drops on control not only laid the groundwork for the Drake beef, but it also set the precedent for no, how rappers buddy. would tiptoe around you him. Can't At do the that. time, there were tons of responses to control, but they all seemed like they were carefully towing the line as to not go too far. For example, after feeling angered that Slaughterhouse were left out of the shoutouts, one hey. of the group's members, Joel Ortiz, responded with the vicious track titled Out of Control, where he let Kendrick have it. Listening, you the king of no, no, no. Uh, uh, uh. You're not gonna get me. You're not. Louis said, I don't know how you get past this, bro. All this copyright music, bro. Vibe and say that he was me. actually saluting Kendrick for the I'm most part. As for the notoriously my, my fearless my Joe Budden, he was hosting a live stream for the response track only to opt out and not release it. Amid responses from Papoose and others, Kendrick remained so calm about the whole thing that it would be impossible for it to not strike fear in their hearts. Crazy. How you feeling about uh, all, the, um, all the comebacks lately from your uh, control verse? You gotta try harder. So when they all backed down, it really made the whole culture realize that Lamar was to be treated with respect. Basically, there's always a caveat when it comes to KDOT slander, rather than anyone really coming for his neck. I mean, just look at what happened to French Montana when he- Guys, if you're looking to go I back remember. to school, Wait. UNGC- No, I don't really don't care about no UNGC. Get, get this on my screen. He attempted to dis- Oh, snap. Had a few things to say about no, no, no. Let me turn this up, bro. I gotta hear this. First off, he claimed that he was being pushed by the industry. Why you think Kendrick sells more than like street rappers? Crazy. Um, cause they cause they position him like how they did in the Grammys. As 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 the new music, well, I don't feel like that's you know, it's not not it's not that it's not the right thing to do, but I just feel like they. You see, it was like the whole thing was like Kendrick Knight. Crazy. Then, more ridiculously, he said that he had more hits than him, only to be clowned relentlessly by the internet. If we're just talking about anthems, me versus Kendrick hit for hit, I believe I can go neck to neck. Yeah, I've been making. We can't, you know what I'm saying? Unforgettable Sway Lee for Carriage, you my boy. You can never say that. Hits for a long time. You I love Kendrick. Carried, that's not just for Kendrick, that's for anybody they put in Sway Lee. However, not everyone agreed with this. I mean, even other rappers hopped on the bandwagon to mock him for it. Stupid ass nigga said he got more hits than Kendrick Lamar. Sway Lee, man. <laughs> You smoke hard. Why you tripping? You on real dope. Well, but no, while duh. he had smoke for Thug and engaged in a war of words with him over it, French Montana never tried to provoke K Dot any further. And now, just like everyone else, French has since basically apologized for even thinking he could Crazy. mess with him and said he was just in his feelings at the time. I was just heated I ain't win a Grammy for for Unforgettable. That's what it was? Yeah, but Kendrick is my dog. Like, but just that just that one 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 Dang, day at the bro, interview. We got all these people were apologizing to this man this guy is the king bro i was just so heated that i ain't win and he was the oh winner <laughs> and i was just like yo but i fuck with kendrick I fuck, I fuck with the whole um with the whole team opting to say that he was in the wrong rather than say kendrick had any part in it this is a rare show of humility for a rapper and while cole has been taking all the flack for getting up on that dreamville festival stage and saying that his seven minute drill diss song Crazy. towards kendrick didn't sit right with his spirit and would be deleted off streaming services bro many people are apologizing to this man this guy is a god when i listen bro. to it and when it comes out and i see the Whoa, talk that shit don't god. sit right with my spirit that shit make me feel that shit disrupts my fucking peace history shows that he's not the first person to make his apologies to kendrick and maybe fear of being dismantled on a verse wasn't the only reason although his immense talents on the mic are one major factor french extending his love to kendrick's whole team is important because as these rappers likely learned before going at his neck messing with kendrick requires you to go up against an army and while kendrick might have been a good kid in a mad city he's got a whole city behind him and there's something dangerous about Kendrick that not a lot of people speak about. Growing up in Compton, Kendrick was exposed to the gang lifestyle early on, and many of his best friends were active members. Yeah, then, big, I ain't gonna lie, big rock, that's a scary dude. And after joining TDE, he suddenly found himself in the midst of the Bounty Hunter Bloods and Hoover Crips as he teamed up with fellow label mates Schoolboy Q and J-Rock, as well as a them whole dudes, host of other them people. Them dudes are dangerous, bro. 
who were repping sets. Recently, Kendrick's gang ties have come under the microscope again. Because if the rumors are true, Cole might have received a tip to back off from the beef that sounds not too dissimilar to what you'd see on the streets from Schoolboy Q. Reporting from Dreamville Festival, an unnamed source revealed that it was actually Schoolboy Q who allegedly warned J. Cole to stop beefing with Kendrick before the apology. I'm not specifying what kind of warning, whether it was a bullying move, a Debo-like maneuver, or just a friendly heads up. I don't think it matters at this point, but based on what Punch, TD, East president said, I think they gave him what he needed to hear to bow out of the battle with as much grace as possible. Whether he was letting him know what kind of heat KDOT had in store for Drake Crazy, with the abuse bro. allegations, or telling him to ease up before things got dangerous, this whole situation proves that whatever Kendrick is getting involved in, the streets he grew up on have his back. In terms of gangs, Kendrick has long been rumored to have connections to the West Side Pie route. In addition to his affiliation to the Red Side of the city, Kendrick also has uncles who are Crips, several of which Crazy. have served lengthy jail terms for gang-related activity and armed robbery. And he's still locked in. I did not know Kendrick was this gangster. I thought he was just a 5'5 five -five midget with dreads. This man's a success. So don't fuck with Kendrick, man. With them to this very don't day. Mess with this Does the crew come out every time you come to Compton? Yeah. <laughs> as a result of his connections, as well as old pictures of Kendrick. If you're looking to get a degree in... Bro, how many ads are you going to pop up in my video, Luis? Damn, bro. I'm trying to enjoy the video. Shit. Preston Red, Drake's recent assessment that he isn't affiliated to a set on his new track, Family Matters, has been ridiculed by people from Compton. While at the same time, respecting Kendrick's desire to withhold that from becoming a big part of his identity. Drake says you don't bang a set, and he says the game bangs a set, even Chris Brown bangs a set. He just don't know Kendrick. That's what I'm saying. Like, like, has, has Kendrick renounced his hood, hood affiliation at a certain point? Uh, Kendrick just don't be private and so like priding himself off of his gang culture. So I guess people think that he a non-affiliate. I don't know if we posted, but you know, hey. But obviously, like the yeah, the fact is Kendrick severely downplays gang affiliation. The push-ups was in yeah. his hood, wasn't they? The push-ups that you talk about yeah, that at the park. Work. Once again, the clues Dang. for Cali having his back have all been there. I like I said. That's a dangerous man. It makes sense why these people apologize. And the music. On Section 80's Poe Man Dreams, Kendrick has a line where he says, The city got my back. No, 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 no. Uh, uh. No copyright. You're not finna get my ass, Luis. I'm sorry, twin. Get your ass on with that shit. He knows be behind him. And when you look close at those videos of Not Like Us going off in the club, he should definitely feel more confident in that than ever. <laughs> This song is not copyright. But while this could be taken literally for the whole state of California, that line may contain allusions to his gang ties. In an interview from back in the day, Snoop Dogg went into more detail about this. It's just that he's he's a nice guy. So we're gonna have a problem with it because he doesn't have a gangster approach. But let me let y'all know, he got a hundred thousand motherfucking gangsters with him. So you better watch what y'all say. You understand what I'm saying? Keep it hip hop, because that's what he did. He kept it all hip hop. In spite of the fact that Kendrick hasn't ever definitively said he was a gangbanger, what we do know is that there are times in his life where he moved like one. Back in the day, Dot tried to intimidate AD of the No Jumper podcast and back on Fig because Kendrick thought he was from a rival neighborhood. Hey, you want to know a crazy thing about Kendrick, bro? My first encounter with him, he thought I was somebody else, bro. He, he low-key tried to press me. Who? Kendrick Lamar. Who do you think you were? He from a different hood. I guess like I guess some niggas jumped him back in the day. And mm. I came to the studio and he was mad. He was like, Hey, you from Almond Block? And I was like, nah, but he was hot. He banged on him back. Where's Almond no, Block? He, no, Almond Block is another hood in Compton. Mm. And I was like, nah, I ain't from Almond Block. He thought you were lying. And he was like, You is from Almond Block. I'm like, nah, Crazy, I'm from Almond Block. I'm over here. Did he, did he was he, like, alright. And then we was cool after that. But it, but, but he, he was say, mad. Oh, alright. No, he was mad. Yeah, <laughs> he was. He was like, he was mad. Like, like yeah, if, I, if I was from Almond Block, he would have got his get back on me that day. That's from the crazy, gang members, bro. which regularly appear in his music videos, the musical appears like mustard, proving that they'll throw away any other relationship to ride for his Cali comrade. Dot's status as king of the West Coast and everything that entails it would make anyone think twice before coming at him. But while there was speculation that Kendrick wasn't to be taken lightly, it's safe to say that this Drake battle has made that crystal clear. Although Ovio stands like Maul or academics may argue. 
argue otherwise, there's no denying that Kendrick washed Drake. Bearing the music he itself, the fact that he overthrew Drake's record for the highest streams for a rap song in Great. a day, with a track where he calls him a sex offender, it's just diabolical. Now, fans are waking up to the fact that he just wasn't to be messed with. I knew Kendrick Lamar was a dude that needed to be left alone when that video of him doing burpees in a parking lot while listening to oldies dropped. Something is clearly wrong with him. Look at this fucking psychopath. Crazy. No, 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 no. Stop that cop. Why do he have all this copyright? And he's not getting claimed for this shit. This shit is happening to Drizzy these days further explains to why he wasn't challenged before now. Because while people have been throwing jabs at Drake for years, it doesn't matter if they don't hit the general public. But with Kendrick, you have a rare mix of someone who isn't just obscenely skilled, but also has the platform to slander you and reach huge audiences. It's the fear of embarrassment. He's a better rapper than almost everyone in the industry skill wise. He can do both mainstream and underground style music right. when most artists just choose one and never change. Because he can immortalize you in a negative light in the form of a classic hit. If you needed proof that this is a real thing, just look at this school teacher's comments about the change in tone around Drake in the wake of Not Like Us dropping. I, up until today, taught at a very Drake-centric high school. Rich Baby Daddy is the most frequently requested song okay. to put on my class playlist. If I ask students with their- what, 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 Why is he- Why is she paying attention to these- First of all, hang on, Snow Bunny. Why are you letting your students play that in school? But what just listen to what she gotta say? The week after the leak? Whether you may realize it or not, Kendrick stays ready. And after destroying Drake, he's probably bought himself a whole lot of that coveted peaceful life for decades to come. Unless someone is stupid enough to ignore these warnings and try him again. Alright. All right, Are so you looking to like, expand comment, and subscribe? I'm gonna see y'all in the next reaction video. What the fuck? I'm about to say.